Hello, I'm Alex Chassis, and today I'm going to be showing you the proper way to handle and shoot a compound bow. Stay tuned for this segment of bow safety. So let's get started and look at some key components of a compound bow. Now starting off today we're going to be looking at a 2015 Hoyt Charger. It is equipped with a single cam setup and it has a stabilizer with a trophy ridge sight single pin. Uh, it also has a string saver, peep sight, and stabilizers as well as a free release system. Now let's get to actually drawing the bow and getting comfortable with a ready position. The first thing that you want to do before you go ahead and draw your bow is figure out what you want to draw your bow with. Some people like to just use their fingers or padding on their fingers but to get a more accurate and precise shot, I've found that using a release system is the best way to do this. And all it involves is basically a trigger system where it will clamp onto your bowstring and then you can pull the trigger and release your bow consistently every time. And now we're ready to shoot a bow. So what we're going to do is you're going to hold your stabilizer hand out as firm and straight as you can. So you make a 90 degree angle between your arm and your torso. And after you have your stabilizer arm set, then it's time to worry about drawing the bow. So this is where you clamp on to your string saver and then draw the bow. Keeping your arm as straight as possible. And now we're gonna talk about your anchor point. And that's after you have your straight arm, you're gonna want to find a place that's comfortable to rest at when you're at full draw. And it looks like this. As you can see, I now have an anchor point set up where I'm comfortable and I can stay in this position for as long as I need to. And now we're gonna talk arrows. These here are Maximum Reds by Carbon Express. They're very light and travel at a very high speed. Nothing to be played around with for sure, but you want to make sure you get yourself quality arrows. Now we're going to take it to the field because it is way more safer to shoot it out here than it is in there. So we have our target down range. We are clear of any pedestrians or anything that we could harm. So we're going to take a solid stance and we're going to knock our arrow first. And then the fundamentals just carry through. Thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you could take something out of this lesson that I gave to you. It's not everything you need to know on bow safety, but it's the basic fundamentals. And if you want to know more, try joining Hunter Safety. These are good skills to use for a basic hunter or anyone that just wants to shoot, because shooting can just be a recreational thing too. Thank you, and have a good one.